So I've been thinking a lot about standards and being too picky. And especially now that I'm in a significant relationship and I'm looking back at some of the, what I call is the box I created, the box I created. In other words, the laundry list of things I was looking for in a relationship. And while I, I certainly believe that there's value in knowing who you are and who might be in alignment with you, I think sometimes those can also get in the way. Now, I'll give you an example of what I think is picky. I think um, I was once working with a client who was five foot two, and she said, Jonathan, I refuse to date men under six foot two. I want a man who's six foot two so I can feel protected, you know, and I can feel like a, a real woman in front of him. I thought to myself, five foot two, you want someone a foot taller. Uh, that might be a little bit too picky because less than 3% of the male population is over six foot two. Uh, less than 15% are actually taller than six foot. And I thought to myself, well, Bruce Lee was five foot six at best and he could kick the crap out of 10 guys all at once. So is being protected based on height? I don't know, I think that might be ego, which is being picky. Now a standard might be something along the lines like this. Um, you know, I value a healthy um, eating style. In other words, I, I value people that put their health as an importance to them. And so, you know, I doubt I'd want to be with someone who's a chain smoker eating bonbons and uh, fried food all day long, because to me, that's not valuing their health. I think that's a standard that's not being too picky. And yet in my own relationship, I had, um, I had uh, kind of a no long distance policy when dating, uh, partially because I'm a physical touch person. I like to be connected with someone. I was looking for a relationship where we spend three or four days and nights a week together doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests and such. So, why, so that was part of my box. And that box kept distance between, a literal and figural distance between now my, my new partner who happens to live in another state. In fact, she lives over 2,400 miles away. All right, so that box kept us apart and yet we still gravitated to one another. And when we actually met and we actually discussed the real possibility of being in a relationship with someone, we really thought this through from not from the fantasy perspective, you know, it's so romantic to be in a long distance relationship is how can we take this distance and bring it close together? In fact, we've already planned that happening in the next few months. And I'll give more details about that later. So why am I sharing this? Well, to some degree, my box was there kind of sometimes as a protection mechanism. I think being too picky might cause us to protect ourselves because we are experiencing past hurts or traumas or experiences that didn't feel good. So it's very common to put up walls or barriers when that's the case. And yet at the same time, I think it's really important to decide what's the essence of what you want from a person. And what's interesting is while there's some things about my partner that aren't necessarily on my laundry list, the essence of who this person is is absolutely on my laundry list. And you have to decide what that is for yourself. You know, I think it's interesting because um, she and I seem to have the same personality. We like to, we're, my, we're more like Netflix, Netflix chill type of personality than, than you know, uh, jock type of personality. I'm not a jock. I mean, I do exercise, but I'm not a jock. And she has that personality trait. She has an interest in personal development like I do. She has an interest of travel like I do. So our personalities seem to mesh in a number of areas. And it may not be the case with every person I've met. I've met some women that are highly social and I like to be more casual. And so our personalities might, might not mesh. But ultimately what I'm getting at is Standards are being too picky. I think your standards are those important qualities you're looking for someone, is do you share the same values? Are your lifestyles blendable? And the picky things might be those things that get in the way based on our ego, like the sh what I shared before on the height. And I invite you all to look at the essence of a person when you're actually dating them. Now, let me just say this. The reality is, is most human beings are rather dysfunctional. 
from an emotional perspective. They might be able to pay their bills, they go to work on time, that sort of thing. But many people have weak emotional skills and weak relationship skills. At the same time, I invite, it's, this is the tricky part. Are they too far gone to heal or are they just at the cusp and could you actually invite a man to reveal his emotional side by leading by example. This is why I continually suggest to women that you are the emotional leaders of the relationship, not men. And how do you do this? You express your feelings, you express your thoughts, you ask questions, you go deeper than the surface of how's your day going? Because that's actually going to determine if this person is capable of moving to that more healthier space versus those guys that will run away. And those guys who run away aren't your guys anyway. Is this sinking in, is this resonating? Please let me know, post a comment below if this made sense, if this resonated with you. As always, if you find value in the group, please tell your friends about Midlife Love Mastery. Send them to my website, jonathanasley.com. Have them click the group coaching button so they can join our fantastic group. And I'm gonna sign off this video as I always do. First off, give myself a big gigantic Jonathan Merrick of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm gonna ask you to turn to someone, a pet, a teddy bear, a pillow, and give it or them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now.